Good morning you guys, it's Karen and I wanted to come and do a quick video on whether or not you need a Dyson cordless vacuum cleaner, Hoover. Um, and I wanted to do this because it was really tricky for me to decide and although I found a lot of videos comparing different cordless ones, I didn't find many or any that were that useful to me comparing a corded one with a cordless one. So this video is more generic rather than specific to the models because I think there's not that much difference in the models. I checked out all the cordless models at the time. Um, but also this is more, it's less technical. I'm not giving you all the technical details and all the attachments, etc. I'm just telling you whether or not I regret getting a cordless one, why I've kept my corded Dyson and what benefits I think you would get. It might help you decide because like I said, I found it really difficult to decide. So I've had my Dyson, um, I'll, I'll show you a picture, I can't remember exactly what it is. It's not the animal one, but it is the ball one. And I love it, I absolutely love it. And I have loved the Dyson Hoover since I got it. And it did break once and we had to buy a new one. I immediately went and bought the exact same one. But I felt like the suction wasn't the greatest. And so I was like, this new cordless one really appeals. Let me see about it. Um, so I got it and there was a few things when I when I got it, I was like, mm, I don't like that, I don't like that. Um, and like I said, I now have both. So I'm just gonna tell you the things that are better about the cordless one, the things that are better about the corded one. So with the corded one, even though I felt the suction was going a little bit on my corded one, I still find that there's a better suction on it compared with my cordless one. Where I particularly notice it is on, I had a long pile rug in the living room. Um, I, I was gonna actually demonstrate cleaning at, hoover in it but unfortunately we've thrown the carpet away because i tried to wash it and then it was too wet and I had to put it in the garden and it was just all a nightmare <laughs> um, as i'm getting a new rug which is shorter but i it's very very difficult using the cordless one on that long pile rug it just wouldn't work and i'd need to use my corded dyson and like i said the suction is still even though i had noticed it going a little bit in my corded one I still can tell the difference when I go from the cordless to the corded one. I still think my corded one, even though it's older, has less suction. The other good thing about the corded one is that it is lighter. The first thing I noticed about all of the um, cordless ones when I, I was in John Lewis looking at all the different ones is they are heavy to hold. You put the, the weight is at the top, it's a different, a different distribution of weight because when you are using the corded, you're pulling it along you pull it and then stop and then you use your hoover. You pull it and then stop and then you use your hoover. But with the cordless one, you're holding it the whole time and it's at the top in your arms. The other thing with the cordless one that did bother me at the beginning, but that doesn't now is it's actually quite good is with a corded one, you switch it on and you hoover. And then if you think you've heard something, you have to go and switch it off. You know, you can use your foot and you have to switch it off and listen, you know, did I hear the door go, etc. With the cordless ones, you have to pull a button to keep it on, which at first I was like, this is gonna hurt my fingers. And it does sometimes if I'm using it for too long because you have to hold it in and then release to stop it. So the Dyson corded is lighter and you can just switch it on and that's you going. So for the Dyson cordless, the disadvantages are that it's very heavy, that you have to hold down this switch. The other thing is it needs to be on display. You know, the other Hoover you could put in the cupboard, but with the, well, it, that's not 100% true. You could probably put it in a cupboard if you have an electrical socket in a cupboard, but certainly, well, I've never had a house where you've had electrical sockets in the cupboard. It would be quite useful, really, wouldn't it? Um, but this one, you, it needs... The, the charger, you know, this, the stand where you put it on needs to be on display. Um, and so you need to have somewhere that you can put it. That's the downsides to the cordless. So do I regret buying the cordless and why have I got the two? Well, the Dyson cordless is just so quick and convenient for any spillages. Um, so any, I use it if there is salt on the floor after we've had dinner, if there's, I've been like wiping the sides and there's salt on the floor, you can quickly clear it up. I use it if Watson has had like a crunchy type snack of any kind on the floor and there's crumbs on the floor. I use it for a quick hoover probably most days, if not every other day, but most days I will just grab the Dyson and go over the little main patch in the living room where there's the most traffic and where there's like perhaps dirt from shoes or whatever, you know, it's so, so quick. And that's something that I wouldn't do with my the corded. I wouldn't have hoovered every single day because it would be like, oh God, I'm not going to, if I take, if I get the hoover out, I'm going to do the whole house. You know, I'm not just going to hoover this up. It was such a hassle. 
this one is so easy. The other advantage is you can use it in your car and you don't need to worry about trying to find somewhere to plug it in and it's pretty good. It's not amazing but it's better than anything else I've ever used. Any other car hoover I've had it's good. You've got the right attachment for the car and it just it does a good enough job so you can hoover in your car. Um, so that's a real big plus for the Dyson Cordless and that's why I don't regret buying it because like I said I use it practically every day it's if somebody if I say somebody was coming over unexpectedly you could have a quick hoover around you could, I even use it sometimes on my kitchen sideboards if there's crumbs you know you can just go around and have a quick hoover that's when I use it so I don't regret buying it but why have I kept my corded I've kept it because like I said I do think that the suction is a bit better on the corded and I've never tested out the the battery power on the cordless but I don't think I could do my whole house with the cordless I think that I would it would need to go back on charge because I do use it on maximum um, and so I use the corded one when either when I needed to do the rug give the rug a good hoover or when I do the whole house I use the corded one um, and the other one is just there for daily use so that's why I've kept the old one or if my joints were particularly hurting I might use the corded one but normally it's just a quick thing with the cordless so it's not a problem so I hope that that was a bit interesting like I said I'm not it's not a very technical video I'm not great at doing all the technical bits and I just thought that maybe a kind of real review from somebody that's got both um and I couldn't understand why my friend had kept the old one and I, I said to her you know if the because she got a cordless before me and I said to her if the cordless is so good why have you got your old one and I can't remember what her answer was I think she said she didn't know why she was keeping it and I didn't know why I kept mine at first I was like if this hoover is so good why am I not giving it away and it's because like I said I don't think I could do the whole house with it and it isn't as good um it hasn't got the same suction power in my opinion I don't know whether they say it has or not but I don't think so that's everything for today I hope that you enjoyed that let me know what you think if you've got a cordless and a corded and um yeah that's everything thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon